Greetings, Commanders! Welcome back to Boot Camp. Today we're going to be talking about your ship layout. Uh, you may think you already know all this stuff because you've been playing, but bear with me. I'm going to shed some uh, wisdom on these things later on in the game and what to expect from them. So, first off, there's the five major resource collectors, right? At the bottom, one, two, three, four, five. They collect resources. Don't worry about upgrading those too much unless you have to for different upgrades. You're going to be getting most of your resources by hitting other players, okay? Drop that shield, hit other players when you're online and playing. All right, so the major things you need to know about are the storage bay. This this cargo hold, <coughs> what it does is basically it protects your resources. It's not a very big deal. It kind of falls under the resource collector thing. Upgrade it as needed. Don't focus on it. The research lab, that's a primary one. We're going to get into that. The barracks, this is where you train your troops. You should always be training troops, always, for the first year of the game. You're going to be at least training rangers because you need a meat shield. We'll talk about that later. Uh, your warp gate. This here is your warp gate. I actually can't release anything here yet. Let's see if I can get it right away. This is where you upgrade or you release new commanders. Yeah, so we can go in here, release a commander, uh, finish the tutorial. Okay, so now it's going to make me do a tutorial. Uh, you do these tutorial quests here on the bottom left, and this kind of helps teach you how to play the game. That's how you get more commanders. Whatever you release out of there comes up here. You can activate them, choose them, get them going. All the commanders have different skills. They work with different troop, troop types. Flare works with infantry. Notice the green infantry right there. There's also blue for walker, red for airship. Early on in the game, you can choose any three of them. doesn't matter, but that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about buildings. Okay, uh, the medical center. This tells you how many troops you can fit in. At the very beginning, you get 560. A trick to increasing this a ton right away is going to the top left up here, this new thing. This didn't exist back when the game started when I played. There's the time and space war. In the time and space war, uh, I'm sorry, in the paraloper, you can upgrade your hospital capacity, but you need to play the time and space war to get this green material. There's meta energy, meta crystal. It's very important early on that you play time and space war for like 20, 30 minutes. Just, just clicking the crap out of this button. Click, 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 click. And then you merge the ships together and then you merge all them together. And you'll notice as I do that, your power goes up one each time, one each time. Okay, and the more power you get, eventually you get to, I think, 120,000. You get to wave 300, and you can click on this, this merchant. It's I'm in the way. There's a little merchant right there, and this gives you free stuff. Good free stuff. Magazines, speed ups, increased hospital capacity, all types of free stuff every 48 hours. And then on Sunday, there's a 24-hour reset. Uh, when you click mop up, it loads it up. But don't click your mop up yet. Click your mop up at the end of your time and space war session each day, that way or each other day, so that you can see what you can buy. Now, you can also spend like gold and cash to buy things in there. And that's okay. Uh, they're pretty expensive cash-wise for a new account. So maybe, you know, consider what cash reserves you have before you start getting too deep into that definitely you know utilize the meta crystal meta energy and of course there is passive resource collection right here okay so you go ahead and click this boom and this just keeps adding up there is no limit to meta crystals but there is a limit to meta energy you can unlock the limit by paying fifty dollars and getting this to uh this uh this this quanti quantized paraloper thing you don't need it i i'm a high level player i never have mine quantized but you can it's available if you want to um, okay, back to the base. Now, your bridge. This is really the level of your arc. This tells players uh, on the map if you're level 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever. Uh, this is something that you need to upgrade before you can upgrade anything else. If this is level 7, nothing can be level 8 on your ship. So this is something you always want to upgrade as much as possible. Okay, uh, the warp gate. You don't really get a lot out of the warp gate. You just kind of have to release it. Um, oh, this will give you commander level cap. That's right. Commander levels give you a little free leadership. And they can give you first strike uh, if your opponent is a lower commander level, which can be quite helpful. Um, in capital battles, you can get first strike whether you're lower or not, so that's not a big deal. But remember, as your commander level goes up, the time it takes to heal them if they lose a fight in a PvP fight is, is, is longer, and it costs more gold. So generally speaking, commander levels aren't something people focus on. They're just kind of a byproduct. And some people intentionally leave their commanders at low levels so they can lose a fight on purpose in a capital to take away first strike. That's more of an advanced tactic, not something we're focusing on here. Um, the barracks. Upgrading your barracks only gives you you the amount to queue up more troops when you train so at level one you can't train that many troops at a time but as you keep leveling it up it'll let you train more and more so right now it's 30 you increase it it gets up more and more and more and that's that's really helpful because 30 seconds that goes by real quick you could spend all day just clicking this button you don't want to do that you want to queue up thousands at a time and then let your guild click help each help is one percent or a minute 
Uh, it's very helpful to be in a guild. We'll talk about that stuff later. Uh, next on the map is, what is this? You're building your uh, your weapons, your forge ship. You can get uh, gear here. You need gear on your commanders, whether it be bonus accuracy, bonus crit, bonus damage. You're going to need gear. We'll talk about gear later. Um, you'll level that up as needed as well. That's not really a focus, but I don't want to like say it's 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 totally it's it's up there. It's important, not that important. The next thing is the armored hull. This is strictly used for how much your ship can take, um, yeah, that, and how many people you can have defending you. But uh, it's all about your arc durability. The more you upgrade this, the more your arc is durable. And this means that if someone hits you so hard they do more than ten thousand damage, your ship gets taken off the planet, so they can't keep hitting you and keep zeroing your troops. When you get hit, your troops get massacred. So let's say I have thirty ranger, one hundred and forty rangers right now. If someone hits me and I don't defend myself, or I do, and all my troops die, one hundred and forty units right? And they are worth one army value at the very top says units one. Uh, they will take up 140 spaces in my hospital. Now, right now my hospital holds 560. So if I clicked on my hospital, they would all be in there. If I had a thousand Rangers, I would permanently lose 440 of them because it only fits 560. I would permanently lose them to massacre, which is why it's important that you do the quantize or you do the uh, time and space war to increase your hospital capacity. And for those of you that forgot, this right here, when you upgrade this right here, it says initial medical capacity is plus 200. That's a big deal. You say, well, I'm just going to upgrade my medical center instead. Upgrading your medical center is not as good as actually upgrading that dragon. The dragon does it way faster. Upgrade each level is, is 80 80. The dragon is, is, is literally, what, 200 per level? Uh, and it's way cheaper to get, and it's free, and it's fast. So definitely do the dragon way. What else am I missing? Uh, there is a, another one here, but you don't see it. It's for black hole bombs. Black hole bombs are something that were really popular when the game started, but now with metacrystal healing, uh, if you lose troops, you can actually heal for free to an extent, depending on how much crystal you have. Um, but healing can be free. So black hole bombs aren't as useful as they used to be, but it is a good way to, to punch your opponents and hurt them if they're using higher tier, tier five, tier, five, tier six, tier seven. Once again, that's that's a bit later in the game. Um, that should be covering the most of the basics. There's a couple other things here. The comm tower, uh, this says, what does this do? It lets you get more time helps, okay, for bigger builds, uh, resource aids how much resource you can send. Not what you can receive. You can receive a ton of resources from other players, but you can only send so much. There's also the faction, which means you can go infantry, walker, airship. We'll get into that stuff later. Uh, you don't really need to focus on that, and there's special quests for that in your faction tasks, but you do have to level that up before you can do any of that. So that's the general ship layout.